Hello and welcome to Luzhou in China for the leaning BWF World Super Series Finals, the culmination of the 12 tournament OSIM BWF World Super Series. The top eight in each of the five disciplines have qualified for these end of season finals and tonight is the last of the group matches and therefore the last chance to qualify for the semi-finals tomorrow. Well there you can see the whole list of the 12 Super Series tournaments and of course for the first year we've had premier Super Series events as well. Korea, All England, Indonesia, Denmark and China were the premier events. So to tonight's uh, schedule, and we're going to start with mixed doubles, then men's singles, and the reigning world and Olympic champion, Lin Dan, he's up against Kenichi Tago of Japan. Then women's singles from Group B, Wang Sin, up against Saina Nawal of India. Then another men's singles, Group A decider, who will top the group, Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia, or Peter Gaeda from Denmark. And the last of our five matches, tonight is men's doubles with Jung Jae Sung and Lee Yong Dae of Korea up against Matthias Bo and Carsten Mogensen of Denmark. The Danes of course are the defending champions of the Super Series finals. So it's been a terrific week already here in Lujo. Seen some tremendous matches including this afternoon But we welcome our players onto court for the first of our matches. And this is a mixed doubles. A group B encounter. And this still has an awful lot of significance. Even so, the Thailand pair of Sukit Prakamol and Sara Lee from Tonkamp, they've won one of their matches so far. Japanese pair of Shintaro Ikeda and Areko Shiota have not won either of their previous matches, but mathematically it's possible they could still qualify. So desperately important. Right down to the last of the group matches. Even more so this year because of course for the first time difference in points for every placing within the group. Last year, if you qualified for the semi-final, you obviously got semi-final or better points, whereas the third and fourth in the group last year got the same amount of points. This year, things have changed and it's inspired players to be a very concentrated and very determined right up until the end, and that's great to see. So, Mixed doubles. Shintaro Ikeda and Areko Shiota against Sukit Prapakamol and Sara Lee from Tonka of Thailand. We're looking at Sara Lee, 32 year old from Bangkok. She and her partner, Sukit, 31. Number six on the Super Series rankings, having played 10 of the 12 tournaments have been as high as two in the world rankings. In fact, earlier this year, they were ranked two in the world, but their form just dropped a little towards the end of the year. Five career titles, just one Super Series title. That was last year, winning the French Super Series, their first and only Super Series title. And I think their win-loss record uh, for the year, an indication of how their form has fluctuated 34 wins to 21 losses so to Shintaro Ikeda well he's 30 years of age so he'll be turning 31 at the end of this month world ranking of 12 That is the highest ranking they've ever achieved. His partner, Reiko Shiota, 28, lives in Osaka, making their first appearance at Super Series Finals this year. Both of them, of course, wonderful doubles players, both of them winning bronze medals at the 2007 World Championships. 
Well, this is the third meeting between the two pairs. The last time they met, the Japanese pair won. It was in the first round of the Malaysian Grand Prix Gold event. So, as all week, I'm Jill Clark, and sitting alongside me, former England head coach, Ian Wright, and... Uh, Ian, this is a, a mixed doubles pair, the Japanese combination that took a little bit of time to develop into a good mixed doubles pair because they had concentrated so much on their level doubles for so many years. But all that hard work is beginning to pay off now. They're becoming a very good pair indeed. Yes, yeah, certainly. Mo they've spent most of their career playing level doubles, men's and ladies doubles. And uh, certainly when they first started mixed, it was a little... <laughs> There was some confusion on <laughs> serve and return, to say the least, and uh, found themselves in some rather odd situations, but little by little they've managed to piece it together and they've become a very tricky pair. And their rise up the world ranking this year has been uh, continual, really. Got themselves well established as a top 16 pair and look as though they're en route to qualify for the Olympic Games. So the umpire announces the start of the match. Sukit Praprakamol and Sarari Thongkongkamp, nearest to us from Thailand. Uh, first point, that'll be a trade to this match. Very often the Japanese content to get, content to have Chiotta in the rear court. Keda in the forecourt. As we said, she's played an awful lot of level doubles and very strong player from the rear court position. Yes, she used to play women's doubles with Kumiko Gora. Again, already we see the Japanese throwing some different problems at the type pair. Very unusual to see the man hit across clear, but lots of variety in their game. Happy to play off counter-attack a lot of the time. You see them very often in the defensive formation in this match. Seeds in the mixed up of all service font is called. Klaus Schlieben from Austria. Says struck above the waist. Thailand pair lost to the Danes, York and Fisher Nielsen and Christina Peterson. And then they needed three games to beat the pair from Taipei. Chen Hung Ling and Chen Wen Sing. Oh dear. Little epidemic of serving faults going mm. on at the moment not been able to get the shuttle in play again shutter in the rear court rotating out
course, the pair from Thailand, finalists at the All England Championships earlier this year. Lost in the final to Zhu Chen and Ma Jin. Oh, service fault called above the waist. Well, all four players having problems with their service at the moment. A couple of faults called. Two or three serves into the net. Taking a little bit of time to settle into this game. If anything, the Japanese just a little bit more solid at the moment. Less mistakes. As we see here, more than happy to defend. Yep, only to turn that defence into attack. Good interception from Schotter on the forecourt, anticipating the straight drive. Now, yeah, real hesitation between the two Thailand players. Who was supposed to take that? Yeah, it's very difficult on the girls in the rear court. If the boy takes up a central position and doesn't move, the female player's really got nowhere to go, and that's exactly what Sudket did there. Stationary in the middle of the court, and Sara Lee a little bit lost. Good defence. Very late in the rear court, drop shot wasn't really on. Sara Lee closed the space down quickly. Easy kill. Shotter rotating out. But a partner not doing the job at the front of the court. Yeah, coach saying if you hit one, you've got to hunt the next one. And he's exactly right. Well, it's the Japanese pair. Yeah. Indeed, you suggested had been more solid at the start of the game. We have the advantage at the mid-game interval. Yes, this Japanese pair, very solid. Not particularly explosive in movements or hitting, but they don't make many unforced errors. As we can see already, they're quite happy to sit in defence, quite happy for Shiata to go to the rear court as well. Which is a little unusual at mixed doubles. It seems to work for them. Got a right knee heavily strapped. Mm. And again, problems with the service. I have to say, service judge is going to be looking very closely at that service. It looks very high. We talked about it the other day, didn't we? Subket is a moody sort of player. He's either all conquering, diving and jumping all over the court, or he can be a little bit lethargic as he started this game. Yeah, nicely done. Yeah, and nice. suddenly the next rally is a lot more positive. Yeah, yeah, it's very difficult to predict. Quite difficult to play against, but this Japanese pair have maybe got a good game to play against him because they do just play percentages, don't make a lot of errors. They're going to keep the shuttle in play and make him play. Hit a lot of shuttles. And Shutter in the rear court. And he 
key to not reading the game at the front of the court. Yeah, I sometimes feel Ikeda needs to be a little more positive on the return of serve as well because that's partly why Shiota is getting caught at the back of the of the court. Yeah, he's putting no pressure on, so it's very easy for the Thai pair just to move Shiota away from the net position. But Ikeda in general is just a very safe player, isn't he? Doesn't take a lot of risks. And that's sort of sums up his return of service really. Just wants to get it into play and get into the rally. Well, again, riddled with errors at the moment. Just as I was saying, Japanese don't make many mistakes. Ikeda makes two really quite simple errors. Low serve is short. Oh, there was a chance. It wasn't a great return. He was able to intercept the shuttle above the net in the midcourt. Very famous for her long hair, did Shiota. A big campaign in Japan after the tragedy of the tsunami in March earlier this year about how everyone had to save energy. And she had her hair cut as part of her effort because she said that drying her hair with the hair dryer took 10 minutes with long hair, two minutes with short hair. Nice play from Sara Lee there. Fixing her opponents, both opponents straight in front of her and then just using the space across the court. Nice play. Oh, good serve. Just guilty there a little bit. Hit three really good smashes. Had his opponents under pressure, but really didn't close up the court. Really stayed too, too deep in the court. Needed to follow his smashes forward and reduce the space available in the midcourt. Nice play from Shiota. Smash. Source of Kit was lining up on forehand defense position. He'd across him to the other side. Oh, he's missed it. Yeah, again, just a solid rally from the Japanese in defense. Using good width in the court, moving Sudket around. Not letting him settle on the shuttle. Oh, that's a poor return. No drive forward with the legs there, let the shuttle come to it. King points.
Only needed the one. 21-14. 13 minutes of play on a run of six straight points. The Thailand pair. So typical of them. Catch back up to within just one point. And then six points to their opponents. And there, that's the game. Yeah. The Japanese able to win that game really because they made less mistakes. There was no real dynamic attacking play from them, was there? But they put a lot of shuttles in, put a lot of shuttles in court. Played nice and solid, gave themselves good margins when they were hitting down. That was enough. And a few too many errors. Particularly Sudkep from the rear court. Not really imposing himself in that area. And therefore not really creating many opportunities for Sara Lee to get in in aggressive positions in the front court. a high service I have to say Japanese happy to defend. This time they're beaten by the net cord. Yeah, just had to try and readjust. Net cord brought the shuttle down shorter than she was expecting. She'd played the block, she owed up going forward to the net, and the sheer threat of her being there contributed to the error from Sara Lee. I have to say. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Not quite there. Seems to be not only knee, it seems to be right at the upper leg as well. Read that, goodness me. Good play again. Again, Japanese happy to start in defense, forcing the Thailand pair into hitting a lot of shuttles and eventually seeing an opportunity to move forward. Took a chance really well. She's having some problems with service. Let's see what she can do here. Oh, that's not bad. Wide. 
Really haven't got going, have they, the Thailand pair? No, not at all. Not found any rhythm at all. Yeah, Sompol knows that. A little wry smile from him. It's a good serve this time. Shotter rotating out, and it's effective. She gets the shuttle going down well. Sarali not able to deal with it in defence, getting a little bit caught in between forehand and backhand. Good return from Shotter. She was actually caught a little bit wrong footed by the flick serve. Still managed to get behind it and bring the shuttle down to good angle. Good play. Didn't try and hit it too hard. We'll see her here. She's off balance. Doesn't try and hit it hard. Brushes across the shuttle, brings it down nice and steeply. Overdone that, though. Clever from Sudkett though, pace off to the centre and for once he manages to get his partner in at the net. Didn't try and hit it too hard. Oh, that's a super serve. Back level. Struggling a little bit in defence today, which is unusual. Normally very solid in defence. Good placements deep into the forehand corner. Kada forced to take it late. Yeah, there's another error in defence. Yeah, she's normally very, very good play with a racket normally controls the racket head very well Just a little off the pace today That's good, play. good commitment yep went for it deserve the net cord for committing hundred percent to the attack
strange, isn't it, Julie? Almost looked more comfortable with Schotter at the back. Yeah. Certainly winning a lot of points in this combination, which is very unusual for top class mix. They have had some good results though this year. I mean, not only that previous result over their opponents of today. You and I watched them beat Nathan Robertson and Jenny Woolwick in the first round of the Denmark Open earlier this year. First round of the Indonesian Super Series event. They beat Matusiak and Zeba. Very, very good Polish pair. In fact, spent one week at number one in the world rankings. So shouldn't be underestimated but it is as you say in an unusual style yep and the sort of pair that if good players don't play well against them they'll win because they're so solid yes they don't give points away you know if they're not sure they'll lift they'll fight in defense yeah and they just made they've made themselves very difficult to beat as a combination See, that's really good defense from Schotter again. Sudkat got to where he wanted it. He was attacking her on the straight. He had three chances, but he couldn't get through. And it's quite a contrast, isn't it, between, you know, what you've just said about the consistency and how solid the Japanese pair are, and yet the Thailand pair are really sort of fluctuate between brilliance and, and mediocre at, at best, you know. In all England finals, you ranked number two in the world earlier this year, and yet twice when they've been number one seeds at tournaments, they've lost in the first round. Yeah, but you just never know what you're going to get with them. No. I mean, they're quite capable of turning this match around in a quick three minute burst. Yeah. But it's beginning to look a little bit bleak for them, you'd have to say. And as I say, there's nothing for them to feed on, really, because the Japanese pair not giving easy points away. Continually making them work hard. Well, this is a run of five straight points now. Six straight points. And it wasn't the best of serves, was it? No. Nope. Lost her confidence since she's been called a couple of times for a fault on her serve. Way long of that back line. Good judgment. Well, Sara Lee really struggling in this game. Yeah, they were nine all. Yeah. You know, and, and now there's a completely different complexion on the it's game. Just runs of points. You can't afford the lapses in concentration and intensity. One run cost them in the first set, and one run's really hurting them here. And Shelter's not serving really, really well, but they're scoring lots of points off a yeah. serve. that combination she yeah. also going to the back actually rotating out like a level doubles pair and Ikeda happy to go in and wins the point the straight stood the ground took her three goes but she got there kept the pressure on again didn't risk the error good margins good movement moving forward following the shuttle well, if it keeps going like this Jill you will need your calculator certainly will this ball's gonna be very very tight of course, if the pair from Taipei, Chen 
Hong Ling and Chen Wen Sing. And there to beat the Danes, then it would definitely be the Danes and the Taipei pair that would both go through. If the Danes, who are favourites to beat the Taipei pair, then we we are going to need the calculators out. shot from Ikeda there, short cross court flat lift leaving his partner out of position on straight defence. you were saying about the Thailand pair can just turn this around well they can I mean they're capable they've got yeah. the weapons but they've given the opposition a, a fair head start you'd have to say Shot from really, yeah, really nice shot. Just guided from below net height. That was a big point as well. Yeah. Thailand pair were just looking as though they were getting back into this game. You have to stop there. No, I don't know. I had the feeling there'd been a fault call, but there wasn't. No. Now just two points the deficit. Who's going to hold their nerve? It's short. Yep. Well, this is extraordinary. Eight of the last nine points. Nice. And that's gone long. There was a lovely little half court push from Shiota. Forced the Thailand player to lift. And they lifted well long. So now two match points to Ikeda and Shiota. Yeah, first time of asking, my goodness, it was closer in that second game than they would have wanted. Well, that's a very good performance indeed from Shintaro Ikeda and Reiko Shiota. Yeah, they're delighted with that. 
Uh, stretches forwards, just taps it into the open space, watches it land in the delight for the Japanese pair. Confirmation of the score, 21-14, 21-18 in 33 minutes of play.